Hello, welcome to the Wildlife Health Center. You are now in the reproductive lab and we are going to show you how we determine if a giraffe is pregnant. So when we get the samples, we want to make sure that they are organized um, generally by the date so that when we look at the samples later, the hormones are increasing or decreasing in order. And we lay them out so that they can thaw in the, um, so that it is easier for us to um, crush the poop and weigh out the amount that we need. Once the samples are thawed, we'll then start to weigh them out. So we have our tubes that are already labeled with the numbers to keep track of where we are in the order. We want to make sure that we mix up the sample so that it is not biased where we're getting the sample from. So the next step that we do once we have all of our samples weighed out is we're going to add 80% ethanol, which is what we use to extract the hormone out of the feces. And then we'll take it over to our vortex to mix the sample. Once all the samples are mixed, we will put them onto our rotator, which um, spins them overnight to make sure that all of the hormone is extracted from the feces. So in the morning, once those are done spinning, we will then have the extracts that we will pour off, which will look like this. And this can be then sent upstairs to our other lab where we will then do the hormone analysis. We are now in the endocrine assay lab and we're going to take the um, extracts from the starry and we're going to analyze them for progesterone. First we have to dilute them because there's a lot of progesterone in there. Once all of Ms. Starry's samples have been uh, diluted, we then have to load them on the plate. Once all of her samples have been loaded, we then would let them sit and incubate. That would happen for a couple of hours. Once it was finished, we would then have to wash the plate for the color development to happen.
We then add substrate for the color development and I'm going to show you a couple of finished plates. And this is what they look like when they're done, the finished plates. And then we would take them and read them in the spectrophotometer. So this machine has read the color development of all of the samples. And then from that, we take the numbers and we can tell if um, Mistari's hormone levels have stayed low or if they've gone up high. And in this case, Mistari's progesterone levels went high and we knew she was pregnant.